tougher than I expected. Very capable. Am I being just... You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms. Just for a while, I think. I'm feeling her. Push me down. Oh, you're here. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But... something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me, but I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. <clears throat> Megan must be up on deck. Let's hope your friend doesn't sink the boat while we're gone. Ready? All right, let's go. All right, let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me.
once, I told her a thousand times. It ain't my job. Uh, Is covered. Grand I work on loading like fish. I'd be out on the boats, but I've got a weak stomach. You look like you can take care of yourself. Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. I'll tell you a story about Kirin Jindash, a prodigy from Karnaka. Self-taught, he was hailed by the Academy of Natural Philosophy as a genius who would surpass Sokolov and bring about an age of enlightenment. But just two years after his arrival, he was banned from the Academy for life, for reasons that are still not public. When they deported him, he left behind a machine that drank seawater, playing music that brought listeners to tears. They probably took it apart, and it has never worked since.
Mean, look at this place. Might be time to head back to Potterstead. Somebody's seen something. Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. When the Grand Guard go into the place and see it packed solid with blood flies, they burn the building to the ground. And the ones on either side. They may just smoke flash it. Either way, the jewels will be ruined. We're not getting our money, are we? Have some faith. It'll just be more complicated than I thought it would be. The Dukes let the blood flies get out of hand this year. Am I ever gonna catch a break? Nobody's looking out for nobody right now. We'll go back tonight and dig the jewels out. After that, we'll make a quick exit from Karnaka. Take a spot on someone's suspicion. What's happening now? The fuck is going on here? Anybody? Uh. 